Hello and welcome to ATP Report. It's the Katie and Barry show. Joining me from beautiful London, England is Katie Hopkins. Hi, Katie. Hi, Barry. And yeah, thank you for the beautiful comment, but uh, it's a hairy time here. We are just about to go back into lockdown. I've just come back from somewhere with my family and unbelievably, Barry, I walked into one uh, restaurant bar. I asked to buy a beer and they asked for my papers. They said, have you got your papers? And I was, I, it made me kind of shiver. It just felt like Germany at a time I wasn't living through. I was asked for my residential papers to buy a beer in the UK. Well, that's like a bad war movie from the 60s. Right. right. So, so what's going on in the UK? Yeah, so um, we are about to go back into a much more draconian lockdown. It is thought that uh, they're just coming up with tiers every day. We were what, tier one to three, now we're tier five. Uh, looks like we'll have an overnight curfew as well. But one of the shocking stats, I just want to quickly share 388. 388, that's the total number of deaths under the age of 60 from COVID during this whole pandemic, 388. We have crushed a nation for 388 souls. Uh, but enough of the doomsaying from my side of the pond, Barry. Tell me, you've got the 6th of January coming up. What's going to happen? And what's my beautiful friend, Louis Gomert, been up to? Wild news today. And I, I can't predict what's going to happen because nothing like this has ever happened before. Uh, Louis Gohmert is, um, well, he's a favorite of mine, for sure. He's a congressman uh, in the GOP from Texas, and he's got this idea to sue the vice president, Mike Pence, to force the vice president uh, to reject the electoral college slates for the seven swing states where there is an overwhelming amount of evidence supporting fraud in the election. So if the lawsuit is successful, and trust me, this is a real long shot, then Mike Pence may very well, as president of the Senate on January 6th, he will be running the show as vice president. That's one of his uh, legislative duties. He could reject the slates as not being representative of the will of the people in those states, which, by the way, is a true statement. He could then reject their votes at that point, if it happened, neither candidate would have enough electoral college votes to be confirmed as president of the United States on January 6th, at which point under the constitution as written, the vice president would toss the election for president to the house of representatives who would then vote the Senate would vote for president, the House would vote for, I'm sorry, the, the vice president would be decided by the Senate and the House would elect the president. And because of the way the votes would be tabulated, there are more Republican states overall than Democrat states. And my expectation would be that Trump would be confirmed as president. What do you think of that idea? My goodness. So um, just to be clear, Barry, the judge is the one that would have to agree with this or allow this to proceed or process. Yeah. And it, like I said, it's a legal long shot. And I, I have to be uh, sadly um, sane about this. And what I mean to say is that the Supreme Court has turned down uh, case after case after case, just refusing to rule. And the same in many state Supreme Courts. So the truth is uh, judges are very reluctant to get involved in elections, especially presidential elections. It last happened in this country in 2000 with uh, Gore and Bush. Um, the chances of the judge intervening are small, but if it did happen, what I just told you could happen. So as, as we look towards 2021, um, how do you stay positive and um, have an optimistic view of the future? Yeah, it's a trick, isn't it? And I've been wondering about this. You know, I listen to our state broadcaster here, the BBC, and they seem to be treating people like children. You know, that it's always, oh, isn't it positive about this? And aren't people lovely? And oh, it's all the fluffy stuff. And oh, look at these sequins. And oh, look at this fluffy bunny. And it's almost like 
distraction technique. And I don't think that's the answer. I don't think doom and gloom and endless doom and gloom is the answer. And nor do I think it's the job of journalists to feed people what they want to hear. And I feel like I'm seeing that at OANN or Newsmax or others. They know what the, the supporters want to hear. And I wonder how much they're just feeding that. So I guess our challenge, Barry, is how do we bring that, isn't it? How do we also bring the optimism? And I think that's always about giving people real actions, a real sense of something they can actually do. I couldn't agree more. I mean, my wish is for people to actually do something very important, which is to pick up a copy of the United States Constitution and the Bill of Rights as attached to it and read the dang thing and understand this is where your rights as an American come from and the destruction of these rights, literally the smashing of these rights in 2020 by crazy over the top governors mayors, health department officials, you name it, every goofball bureaucrat that thinks they have the right to take away the constitution uh, protections that were given to us that caused this country to be formed. I want people to read and I want people to understand that they need to stand up for their rights before they are gone forever. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think that's a really positive message as well. I think it's important. And uh, I wish we had a constitution here as well. I'm always envious of yours. So you had a good story you want to talk about from your holiday. Yes, yes, yes. So I've just come back from Christmas vacation. So seven days with my family and kids on the coast. We go to the sea and we go surfing and it's freezing cold, but it's what we do. Now, there's these gentlemen in the morning, really early on, that have these, I guess, do you have the same word for it, metal detectors that go along? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So they're going along doing that. And I was watching them the other morning, about six in the morning. And I know my kids think it's really sad. So they think these whole metal detectors, it's tragic. You know, what are these lonely guys doing? But there had been this big storm in the night, Storm Bella. And they were out there seven o'clock the next morning in the winds and the gales and the waves. And they were metal detecting the beach. And I looked at them and I thought, you know, how brilliant and what a brilliant outlook on life. That when the storm comes, they wake up and they get out of their bed and they think, oh, what treasures will that storm has brought me? I will go and find the treasure. And I think in many ways for us, it's a great message for 2021. We have faced storms in 2020. We'll face more at the beginning of 2021. Our need is to pivot and have this attitude of what's what what joys has this storm brought or where do we find the hidden treasure and I think one of the treasures we've found from the storms we face Barry is that our side is tough our side is strong our side is enduring and our side is increasingly looking to find each other and connect with each other and I think that's a real positive from the storms that we face. That is a great story to share and the message is fantastic. And you're right, Katie, uh, people that believe in freedom, that believe in this country, that believe in the rights that made this country something special um, are fired up and they're not going away and they're not gonna shut up and they're not gonna be run over and they're not gonna be told, just go to your home and lock the door. We'll tell you when you can come out. There are a lot of fired up Americans and they're not going back to sleep. So thanks for joining us today on ATP Report. Thanks, Katie. I sure appreciate you as always. And I want, to I want to remind our viewers who haven't yet signed up for our text message alerts, go to your cell phone, type the word truth, send it to 88202. The number is 88202. Push send. You'll be automatically subscribed to get all of our shows, Katie and me and our other people, always for free right in the palm of your hand on your cell phone. And we're going to give you a present for doing that first couple chapters of my new book, Because You Asked. For those of you that don't want to subscribe, <laughs> you can go to our website and find us there at americantruthproject.org. And you can sign up there for free too. Thank you, Katie. And thank, thank you, you up there in ATP land. For both of us, thanks for joining us. I'm Barry Newsbaum.